Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 24th through the 30th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Taurus. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Eight of Cups. A little bit of a disconnected kind of an energy there from self, from your heart, most mostly. Uh, kind of makes sense with what I see here. But anyways, in the recent past, the Three of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, that's a low self-esteem kind of an energy that you're feeding there. Uh, engaging in all sorts of things that are just not healthy for you, you know, all sorts of possible fights with people and things like that that just create you know layers and layers of pain that just it, it just creates a bigger distance from you and your heart you know as as those layers kind of increase of pain usually what covers up the the heart is pain our own pain and because we don't want to address that we're most of the times not even connected to our heart because we would have to go through that pain and a lot of the times we end up building on that pain instead of just kind of sitting in front of it and just kind of like, okay, I'm going in, you know, kind of a thing, um, in order to connect to your heart. So it kind of leads to a little bit of, you know, the opposite energy of self-love and self-esteem there, you know, engaging in all sorts of things that are really not the best, um, especially when it comes to attachment to others and the way we, um, interact with others even um definitely a very tense energy and very painful one too for you in the current situation the two of pentacles the queen of swords the page of cups i see you stopping there you know in your tracks and just kind of debating whether or not you should actually dive in through that pain you know looking at it and being like should i i kind of miss being connected to my heart i kind of miss feeling uh, the thing is, you went so far, those layers added so much that it's like, how the fuck do I do that? You know, it became quite difficult to figure out how to do that. Um, pretty much in the same way you would do it if there was one layer of pain versus a thousand layers of pain. Dive right in, you know, jump in it. That's the only thing. But you're trying to figure that one out from... Uh, your mind which your mind is gonna find all sorts of ways to trick you into not doing it or doing it the wrong way you know um, but yeah I see you stopping and considering it in the immediate future the ace of swords the page of pentacles the lovers there's a connection that shows up here and it's pretty important pretty deep um, I do see a uh, I don't know if I see action towards this or anything like that, but almost like a reaching out for help kind of a thing. Because I feel like this connection is one of those that just blasts you into your heart. You know, it's, it's just kind of like, there you go, feel, you know, because um, you're showing me a sense of opening up to this so that you can learn how to dive back into your heart, you know, so I'm not sure what this is about yet but let's see let's clarify let me clarify the eight of cups the two of wands the nine of swords the two of pentacles yeah it's like you know again that disconnection became so far off that you're almost lost you're like Think of it as this is your heart, and again, the layers of pain, and the more you put on, on, the more you add to those, the further you go. And then at some point, you're kind of like in the unknown, like, where am I? What, what happened? Like, the, the disconnection is so long that it's like, hold on, where was I going? What was I doing? I, like, completely lost, you know? 
and it's just gonna keep you up here constantly up in your head worried stressed out and blah, about everything you know and I feel like you're getting a little tired there you know to sustain this energy the in the darkness kind of an energy um, in the in the dark that that was the line I'm in the dark here that's where I see you there what is um I don't know I gotta I think I'm gonna put a camera up at night because I see a light coming through from there in the yard and now this morning I checked out by one of the flower beds there there's a little bit of digging there's a little bit of digging there and it's not blue it's an animal type thing but it's not blue um, I don't know I gotta investigate what made that over there I just saw it now and I remembered I'm like huh uh, for the three of swords you get the magician the two of cups the king of pentacles Ooh, so interesting because, you know, as you experience this pain and as you build on this pain, you're actually manifesting a lot of love. You know, you're calling in love from the universe. That's what you want. That's the ultimate goal. And it's so interesting to see that on the surface, whatever it is that you're engaging in, it is actually taking you further and further away from your manifestation. Because you need your heart for love to come into your life, you know? So, let's do the Queen of Pentacles. The three of pentacles, the three of wands, the sun. Ooh, and love has always been there. The thing is you stop seeing it because you started disconnecting from your heart. You went further and further away from it. So there's some energy in there that's exactly what you're manifesting. Of love, of happiness, it's right there. But it's so far removed at this point that it's like, I don't know, I don't know where it is. I don't know what you're talking about, you know, with love. Um, let's do the Five of Wands. Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, the Hierophant. Yeah. And then the split happens. The um, So I don't know if this was physically in your life, this love, happiness, whatever it was. Because I see it there around you. As you start to put those layers and, you know, to adding those layers, it's there. And then the more layers you add, the more disconnected you feel from it to the point of there's a break happening. Like it's, it's the cord is too long, so it's going to split. It's going to break. Uh, so there's definitely a break there. Ooh, this is tough. Let's do the two of pentacles. In the current situation. Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the star. Yeah, again, definitely seeing you stopping in your tracks and really wanting to connect back to your heart. Um, the thing is, you're looking at so many options on how to do that, that again, and you're so far off that um, you seem a little lost. You seem a little like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. The thing is, the energy of working towards is, is there. So you're definitely doing something. You know, it's not like you're completely lost. I'm in the dark here and that's it. No, you're doing something about it. Even if it feels like you're all over the place in this energy, you know? Because that's how it may feel. But uh, I do see the energy of working towards it. For the Queen of Swords, you get the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords. When you're working towards the energy of the heart, uh, bringing in logic into it, okay, you can use that to some extent, yes. But you are disconnected and you are far off from your heart, so. Yeah, I mean, it could be a good beginning, could be a good beginning, you know, to follow some steps, you know, make a plan, follow some steps on how to do it and things like that. But I still see you confused about it. Like, yeah, you know, it kind of doesn't make sense and it kind of doesn't, you know, it's the energy of the heart. It's the energy of feeling. The mind doesn't feel. The mind will tell you 
what you think you feel and things like that but it doesn't feel so ultimately you have to get yourself back into feeling things even if it's small things in the beginning you know practice makes perfect uh because the mind can only go so far on this one in terms of okay you're creating a schedule today i'm meditating on this one or whatever whatever you want to do about it but man you miss your heart you miss feeling that love definitely for the page of cups you get the queen of cups the five of cups the seven of swords and looking at that time when the split happens i see you looking back when you miss the love you're showing me that place in time where you had it and then how that split happened and you're actually showing me you moving further and further away from it and that's you know what caused the split um but definitely missing feeling feeling the love let's do the ace of swords in the immediate future the eight of swords the four of cups the justice card okay let's do the page of pentacles we'll talk about it in a minute the tower the queen of pentacles the five of swords ooh, 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 ooh. and let's do the lovers uh okay this is basically your journey back through those layers of pain that you kept on adding and man there's some crap in here that you're gonna find it's gonna be scary it's gonna be intimidating it's gonna be um deceptive it's gonna be you know you're gonna have times where you tell yourself no i put myself first or i listen to my intuition and everything is great and everything is fine and then you know a little part of you is gonna say bullshit no none of that is true you know because that's how those layers were created um so i don't know how this is tied up to this connection here we'll get to the connection in a minute because the energy surrounding it is very different than your path back towards your heart uh your path back looks quite not nice i'm gonna be honest but it never does you know when you actually stand in front of your own pain and you cut the crap and you cut the bullshit and you just dive in it's not gonna look pretty until you get to where you need to go until you break through that pain and actually get to your heart where you see the truth of everything basically um so the path here looks very uh muddy uh confusing sad quite heavy and a lot of it is uh you lying to yourself you know um the ways in which you lie to yourself to get to the end goal faster oh i uh you know this layer here i feel like i overcame it and and it feels so good i feel so light about it and no you didn't or something you know like an example i don't know there's ways in which you find here to to lie to yourself about your path and about keeping yourself open to learning especially through this connection which i don't know what this connection is but i feel like this connection kind of brings up your true energy of love it kind of uh, keeps your heart alive somehow so it's kind of like the truth of you is through this connection and this path right here is you and you your mind and this is luring you in towards your heart while you here are kind of trying to cheat your way out of dealing with those layers to get here faster you know um so yeah there's gonna be times in which you're gonna think that you're there you're gonna think that you're good where you're at you don't need this what connection what what does this connection know about my heart i know about my heart you know things like that this is quite the real deal in terms of again that help you need that light at the end of the tunnel is this one so as long as you keep on following this one for guidance you may be a little better off than following your mind which is going to try to play tricks on you big time so this connection for the lovers the ace of pentacles the king of cups the ten of cups 
that's how I know this is the real deal with the energies that are presented to me and the clarification for it. Your energies of, all right, I'm diving in. Let me keep myself open to learning from this experience and healing and, you know, removing those layers. What clarification came over that? Not nice at all. But I can see you doing that because we all do that. You know, we all kind of are trying to skip some important steps and not be honest with ourselves you know about a lot of things but yeah interesting interesting energies but uh let's see what the universe has to close it off the empress the queen of wands the six of wands yeah the universe is presenting to me the other half of this connection and they're they're quite showing up in that energy of open heart, space creating, and all of that for you to, to actually be able to, to go through these layers and to reach the final point to where you need to go, which is your heart. So they're definitely there. It's kind of like you also know that they're there. You're like, I know they're there at the end of the tunnel there with that light. I know that they're holding up the torch for me to get there, you know? So your higher self definitely knows the universe definitely is confirming this all you need to clarify things with is your own mind that's going to try to play tricks on you so i'm uh, happy you're diving in happy diving and don't let your mind trick you into things uh but anyways that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time